The record for the largest bottle was set in 1992 by a team in Millville, New Jersey. They blew a bottle with a volume of 193 U.S. fluid gallons. How much short of a million cubic centimeters is that? And if the bottle were filled with water at a leisurely rate of 1.8 grams per minute, how long would the filling take? Water has a density of 1,000 grams per meter cubed. All right. So part A to this should be simple enough because it's a simple conversion type problem, as a matter of fact. So we have uh, a bottle of 193 gallons, and we want to convert that into uh, cubic meters or cubic centimeters so that we can compare it to this value here of 1.0 million. So let's just do a conversion here. So we have 193 gallons. I'll write it as a gal. And this is going to be equal to a uh, conversion factor of 193 gal times whatever the conversion factor is. Now, uh, if you look at the appendix of this, te uh, this textbook, or if you're not reading, uh, or if you're not using this question because from a book, or because uh, you have some other means of finding out the conversion rate, then you know that 100 that one gallon is about equal to. 231 cubic inches in terms of volume, which is uh, closer to what we want. Um, it's also the only thing that's in that appendix of the book, but we can then convert from inches to centimeters, or rather cubic centimeters, by taking uh, 2.54 centimeters uh, which is that's how many centimeters are in one inch, and of course, cube the whole thing. And we find that this is equal to about 7.31 times 10 to the fifth power of cubic centimeters. Now that is how many cubic centimeters are in the, uh, in the gallon. That's not what the question asks, however. The question actually asks, how much short of 1.0 million cubic centimeters is that? So don't fall victim to the common mistake of solving for one thing and then assuming you've answered the whole question. Because what we have to do now is subtract this value we found here from 1.0 million cubic centimeters to find out how far off we are. So if we take 1.0 uh, times 10 to the 6th power, that's 1 million, of cubic centimeters and subtract uh, 7.31 times 10 to the fifth power of cubic centimeters from that, we find an answer of about, and that is an answer of 2.69 times 10 to the fifth power of cubic centimeters. And that is how far off we are. So that it so uh, yes, yeah, so if you're using the textbook, the uh, the Halliday textbook, that this question comes from, you can find these conversion factors very helpful in Appendix D, I believe. And this is our answer for Part A. Part B is a bit more involved. So what Part B asks is if the bottle were filled with water at the leisurely rate of 1.8 grams per minute, how long would it take to fill it up completely? And it gives us the density of water, which is uh, a clue to us. Which uh, So keep that in mind if the details are given. That could be useful clues as to how to solve the problem. So we're given this, uh, this rate here. We're given this rate of change in the amount of water in the bottle. And we want to compare that to the amount of water we have. The, or the, the amount of water we have and how long that would take. So similarly to other problems in which we uh, use conversions, we want to find a way to take this value here and cancel out this dimension of grams uh, for the mass, but also make sure that we're left with a value with just a time value here, like this, like this minute uh, variable, like this minute dimension, for instance. We want to get it into a time. So if we want to do that, and we want to do it by canceling out this gram uh, unit for instance then we'll have to uh, then what we'll want to do is take the mass of that amount of water and divide it by the rate of change here 
Now in order to do that, all we'll really need to do is take the amount of water we have and convert it to mass, and that's where the density will be helpful. Now let me explain. First, let's actually make sure our units are lined up so we're capable of doing any conversions in the first place. So first, let's take the amount of water we have in the bottle and convert that to uh, meters cubed, because that's what we're working with here with the density. So we know from part A that the, the amount of water that can fit in the bottle is uh, 7.13 times 10 to the fifth power of cubic centimeters. Let's convert that into cubic meters. So let's take, let's, so let's write that down here. So you have 7.31 times 10 to the fifth centimeters cubed. And we're multiplying this by a conversion factor of 1 meter per 100 centimeter. And we're dealing with cubic units here, so let's cube this whole thing. And what we get from that is a mass or a, an amount of water, a volume of water, of 0 0.731 cubic meters. Now let's use the density we have to find out the mass from that. So the, uh, the density is in the form of mass over volume. So to cancel out this volume here and just get mass, let's take our, vo our, uh, our volume here and multiply it by this value. So once again, we're using dimensional analysis to figure out how we can get a value for the mass. So to, do that, so to get that mass, let's take our density here and write that down. That's 1,000 kilograms per uh, meter squared. And multiply that by the value of, ma of uh, for the volume, so 0 0.731 times cubic meters. And if you notice in this calculation, the cubic meters cancel out, and we just get a mass value. And specifically, that mass value is 731 kilograms. So now we have the mass. So now we're getting very close. So now that we have the mass, now we can divide that by the uh, the rate of change here to get the time. Uh, first, we have to make one final conversion, of course, though, because this is 1.8 grams per minute. What we want is a value for kilograms per minute. So let's do uh, yet another conversion here. So let's do 1.8 grams per minute. I apologize for the, the mouse handwriting here. Multiply this by, and we want to convert grams to kilograms. So it's going to be one kilogram in a thousand grams. So I'm going to put grams, the 1,000 grams, in the denominator so that it cancels out the g at the top and the numerator on the other side. And multiplying those two together, we get 0 0.0018 kilograms per minute. And now for our final calculation here, let's uh, take this mass we have and divide it by uh, the, the rate of change, the rate of change of the water in the bottle, so that we can get a, time, a value for just the time. So that's going to be uh, 731 kilograms divided by 0 0.0018 kilograms per minute. And doing this, you'll notice the kilogram units cancel out, and since the minutes are in the denominator in the denominator, it becomes the numerator in the final answer, giving a, which will give us an answer that is only in minutes. And, that an, and the answer that we get from doing that is about 4.06 times 10 to the fifth power of minutes. Or we can, or if we want to turn this into a more useful unit, this is also roughly equal to about 0 0.70, point, uh, 0 0.77 years. And that is our answer for part B of this problem.